So for today's tutorial, we're gonna be applying compression to a lead vocal. So I've got the Neutron compressor loaded up as well as this section from a verse up above. So what does compression do? Well, as a beginner, I think it's most important to grasp the concept that a compressor will reduce the variance in audio levels. Or another way to say it is a tool like a compressor can help us make inconsistent volume levels sound more consistent. And especially when it comes to something like vocals, man, we really want a consistent performance, right? We wanna be able to hear every word, but the thing is, it's a performance. And over the course of a vocal take, you'll see these kind of peaks and valleys where parts are louder, parts are softer. So let's take a listen to the vocal, how it is now, just coming in with no compression. I'm always rushing in, never stop just to think for just one sec. We can visually see the dynamic range. You can see these peaks and these valleys. So what we wanna do is be able to tell the dynamic range, hey, marching orders, whenever it gets louder, can you bring it back down please? So it's about the same level as the quieter parts, so things stay consistent. Thanks, appreciate it. There is such a thing. We can use a compressor to do just that. Learning about compression and how to apply it to a lead vocal like we're doing right now is such an awesome way to elevate the production of your songs. But if you're making your own songs, I have a completely free gift that I wanna give to you right now because I know it's gonna help you. I put together a free guide and it's all about giving you a new workflow to kind of build up those writer's block muscles, right? We wanna get past that and learn how to make a song from start to finish as easy and streamlined as possible. It's completely free and you can check it out right now. The link is in the description below or you can just go right to finishsongsguide.com. So if I just hover my mouse over threshold here, Neutron's gonna let us know, hey, this determines the signal level at which compression begins. So I've gotta at least bring this threshold bar down to where it's gonna meet the volume level that's happening. I'm always rushing in, never stop just to think for just one sec. But now that we know it's working, I'm gonna start to mess with some of these other buttons. So when it comes to ratio, at the beginner level, you can just think, okay, the higher the ratio, the less the dynamic range. The lower the ratio, more dynamic range. So as a good rule of thumb, when it comes to something like vocals that we're working on today, let's try to do like a two to one or a four to one ratio. That's usually a good starting point. It's not too aggressive with the vocal. It can still make it sound pretty natural. Let's see what happens if we bump this up to a four to one ratio. I'm always rushing in, never stop just to think for just one sec. So I think I'm gonna stick with two, I think that sounded great. So with attack and release at the beginner level, play with these, but really think these two dials that I can turn are gonna be responsible for the sound. So you wanna listen to how these affect the vocal in this case that we're listening to. And usually for vocals, I'll do a faster attack, slower release, that's a really common thing to do. I'm always rushing in, never stop just to think. So now that things are evened out, there's one more thing we have to do, and it's to bring up the overall level of everything. So we can do that by using Using the makeup gain. I'm always rushing in, never stop just to think for just one sec. You could just think about half of the highest point that you're taking down. So if you see in this meter, it'll I'm jump to about six. In, never... So I just want about three. So to recap, we are using this compressor on this vocal. Why? Because this vocal was a good performance. With a good performance means there's gonna be this variance in audio levels. There's gonna be a high dynamic range most of the time. We can use a tool like compression to help make that inconsistent sounding audio more consistent. 